They're given m by n in integer grid accounts where accounts index i and index j is the amount of money in the i customer as in the j bank. Return the wealth that the richest customer has. The customer wealth is the amount of money they have in all their bank accounts. The richest customer is the customer that has the maximum wealth. So basically you're trying to get the maximum wealth here. Um, so the constraint is and the number of values doesn't go beyond 100 and the indexes doesn't go beyond 50, right? Sure, okay. So if you're not familiar with 2D array, I would suggest you go back to the 1D array in my previous session. Um, it will be easier for you, especially if you're a beginner. So let's go here uh, with the example, the account says, um, one, two, three, three, two, one. So the output is six. Basically, you add one, two, three, you got six. You add three, two, one, you got six. So the highest among them is six. So similarly with this problem, with this example here, number three here. So you have two, eight, seven, two plus eight is 10, plus seven is 17. Then seven plus three is 10, plus one is 11, nine plus one is five is 15. So the highest among the track of the maximum number or the maximum account. So if, so let's go to the coding section. So first is you need to look through the accounts, right? So let, let's sort of look through the accounts. Then let's look through the, each of the account, each of the customers, which is an amount. And then need to keep track of the max. And then we need to keep track of the current uh, amount, right, per customer. So in this case, what we're gonna do is sum plus equal the amount. And then we check if the sum is greater than the max. If the sum is greater than the max, then you change the max to sum. And then you return the max. Yeah. So basically, you're going to each of the customer each of the each, each of the accounts or the customer and each of the customer you check the banks and then you add them all and then every time you do on, on the customer you reset the sum to zero so you add it back so you can just compute the sum every time try it out Go submit. Yeah, there you go. So, what's the time complexity of this? The time complexity is you basically have two for loops. So, this is let's assume this is n, this is m. So, this is o n times n. So, what's the space to complexity? We didn't use any uh, space here, just constant to the variable. So, space complexity constant. So yes, this is how you solve this problem. Um, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and then we'll see you again in the next beginner's lesson uh, in Lead Code. Uh, thank you for watching.